kind of fast. A blue pill, I'll wait for it gets strong. That's a little guy. At least the fish is not his bait. Homemade spinner bait. Finally caught a fish out here. On the homemade spinner bait. So we were burning slop with this homemade spinner bait and this fish hit. We're gonna get her back now. I don't know, I'm not gonna even measure it. It's a really skinny guy. But it's a muskie nonetheless. See? He's skinny. Then there he's up and away. So this video was filmed last Wednesday. I went out on Lake Winger. I was intending to get out a little earlier than I did. I didn't get out on the water till like 5.30 or 5.45. I should have left home an hour earlier than I did. But I started out fishing in the area you don't usually fish. And I was drifting 
a worm for bluegills trying to figure out whether the bluegills were right on the edge of the slop or the bluegills were out deeper and the bluegills just ended up being right on the edge of the slop where there was milfoil up to the surface and I started out tasking for muskies with like a bulldog, a spinner and a twitch bait and a depth baby depth raider and I wasn't getting anything on that and then I decided just to resort to fishing slop with a small bucktail, a spinner bait, and the suic. And then, like 20 casts after I put that spit white and black spinner bait I made on, that got hit. And I also got that northern on the telescoping rod I was doing a review on, which is in that video too. But that was really random when I was trolling out in the middle of the lake. So on all. I finally caught some SSOC species out of this lake, which made me happy, and it was a fun morning of fishing. Hopefully the next time I go out, I can get more consistent muskie action here. It felt really good to finally catch one on this lake, because this lake has not been cooperative for me. So thanks for watching this episode of Muskie Hounds Outdoors, and hopefully I'll have some more muskie action soon. Also, this is a new camera I got, and I decided to try it on a chest mount in my canoe, and I'm not trying using a chest mount in my canoe again, because it just looks at my feet and all my sh junk in my canoe. I'm sorry about the bad angle. I'm just going to use my head, continue to use my head mount in the canoe, because I like the head mounts view better in the canoe. So, and I should probably mount a camera in the far end of the canoe so you can see me casting, too. I need to work on that. That would make the videos better too. So thanks for watching this episode of Muskie Hands Outdoors.